Okay, welcome. If everybody could get your seats. All right. How y'all doing? It's Tuesday morning in Montreal. It's supposed to be beautiful today. How many are going to stay for the full day and not like sneak out to go see some sights? Everyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, beautiful family. I am honored to share the stage this morning with this amazing group of harm reductionists from around the world. And they're gonna talk a little bit about the communities that are often overlooked in the broader harm reduction response. We'll hear about the work that they're doing to address needs and raise awareness and reduce stigma for people who use drugs. But before we get started, I have a couple of housekeeping things. Um, so Rick wanted me to remind everyone that tonight there is a social, it's free entry uh, for all of the delegates. It's at 5.30, it's competing with something I'm gonna tell you about in a second. But it goes until 10, okay? It's on the first floor of the complex Sir, Wis Sir Winston Churchill Pub. And uh, that's on Crescent Street, and it's just about an eight minutes walk from here. There will be special cocktails and drink offers and great pub food. So if you want more information, I imagine that they'll have it at the front desk so you can get the um, address, all right? Uh, the second thing I want to mention is uh, I want to make a small plug for the listening session that the Harm Reduction Coalition in the U.S. is hosting tonight, and I hope that um, you'll join me and Daniel Raymond uh, and other harm reduction staff and board members. We're inviting folks, our partners uh, from the United States, to have a conversation about the harm reduction movement uh, in the U.S. And so we're meeting at 5.30 also uh, in Mansfield Room 2. So please do consider that an invitation. And lastly, uh, this morning's plenary is being live streamed. Um, and you can find that. You might want to tweet that to your, to your social networks. Um, and you, uh, folks can find it on facebook.com slash drug reporter. And also remember to tweet hashtag HR17 to promote the conference. All right. So um, joining me on the panel um, is Myra Gabriel from Brazil, Trevor Stranton from Canada, Yati Jonet from Malaysia, and Adam Bourne from Australia. After their presentations, we'll have a brief Q&A. And just as a reminder, some of the, I believe the presentations will be in English, but some of the answers, you can ask the question in English, but some of the answers may be, uh, the response may be in French. Um, so if you'd like to, uh, for people who don't speak French like me, you may want to uh, get your headphones now. Um, and then lastly, for anyone who is leaving the conference today, please do remember to turn in your headphones before you leave. All right, so we're going to get started with Myra. Myra, after studying political science, Myra Gabriel has worked in a community-based organization in Favela Mare, Brazil, since 2011. Her work is primarily focused on public safety, territorial development, and drug-related issues. Um, since January of 2015, Myra coordinate, coordinated an action research project. And this project aims to uh, uh, understand harm reduction in the context of homeless people who smoke crack. And so based on the demands of people who are living in this open air scene, Redes de Mare launched a per participatory project to construct a public bathroom. So it's a really interesting project. And please join me in welcoming Myra to today's plenary. 